to stop doing that. It's a bit close, sire. I lost track of time chasing a milkman. Uh, caught him eventually, helped myself to a pint. <sighs> Good morning, Your Highness. I trust the Chosen One slept well. Give it a rest, Dad. I don't care what you do during the day, but at night you should be hunting with me. Two bats out looking for blood. There is no way I'm ever turning into a bat. It's disgusting, it's not natural. There is no greater feeling than soaring high above the earth. The wind under your wings, the moonlight on your back. You're a flying rodent. What's fun about that? It's not about fun. It's about training you to be Grand High Vampire. Next year, when you come of age, you need to be ready. What's wrong? Coffin price has gone up. Stokely Castle has... Burnt to the ground. The Dracula resident Stokely Castle was burnt to the ground yesterday. There are unconfirmed reports that the eldest daughter, Ingrid, perished in the blaze. I'm very sorry for your loss. I loved her, Zoltan. I know I didn't always show it, but I loved her. She was the best castle I ever owned. He was talking about Ingrid. No, I wasn't. I had a dream last night she was being chased by slaves. Yes, I've had that one before. Looks like our dream came true. How can you joke about it? She left you for dead and me locked in a UV cage. If the battery hadn't run out, I'd be a pile of ashes now, and so would you. Good morning, gentlemen. What can I get you for breakfast? I have eggs. Scrambled, poached, fried, boiled, bacon, sausage, mushroom, tomato, kippers, crumpets, muffins, waffles, pancakes, porridge, cornflakes. And toast. Every morning, it's the same. I can't undo the memory wipe. It's so strong, it keeps re-wiping his brain. Look at this reflection. Does anything seem strange to you? It's just me. Had a boy. How are you doing that? I have been around for 600 years. I sleep in a coffin, I drink blood, and I move with unnatural speed. A ringing any bells. But that's impossible. Not if you're a vampire. Aren't you bored of doing that yet? No, no, I, I still get a kick out of it. It's often the highlight of my day. I like the new Renfield. He smells a whole lot better than the old one. He thinks I'm a toy. Keeps looking for my batteries, which is most unpleasant. <sighs> Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, gentlemen. And what can I get you for breakfast? Uh, I have eggs, scrambled, poached, fried. You told us already! I did. My mind's gone blank. We were talking about vampires, remember? Vampires, sir. There's no such thing. 
It's like living with a goldfish. That'll be all, Renfield. Very good, sir. Now, time for a proper breakfast. Take your pick. I have O positive, B negative, all the blood types are grown by needs. No bats, no blood. I'm, I'm gonna lead a normal life. We bought this school in the middle of nowhere so we can hide from an army of slayers trying to kill us. Vermeer! What is normal about that? Where's your brother? All this time I thought you were interested in me. Where's the chosen one? I don't know. Like I tell you if I did. It's time to finish the job. What? Just a bit dazed. What happened? I tripped. Did someone push you? No, it was an accident. You can tell me the truth, you know. My door is always open. Get up. We're going to Stokely to save Ingrid. Hmm. I'm not sifting through a burnt-out castle to save Ingrid's ashes. How do we know if we scooped her up or the front door? She's alive. I saw her in a vision. You had a vision? I, I sort of blacked out and I saw Ingrid being chased by slayers. It was like I was there. Right. We need to beef up your training, see what else you can do. This isn't about me. It's about Ingrid. She needs our help. She turned her back on us. She wanted to make the streets of Stokely run red with blood. Well, now they will. With hers. We can't just stand by and do nothing. Everyone deserves a second chance. Mum treats you like dirt, yet you still keep taking her back. That's different. Wow. We're not lifting a fang to help Ingrid. This conversation is over. Fine. I don't need your help. I'll save Ingrid on my own. Over my dead body. <laughs> Sun cream. If you want to live, get in. Get the van. 
you can relax. I'm one of you. We need to stick together if we want to stay ahead of the Slayers. How come you're not burning up? <laughs> UV filter. You're safe in here. What happened to your face? I bit a teenager. Caught something off it. <coughs> Where are you heading? As far from the Slayers as I can get. <coughs> you can chill. We've lost them. If I leave now, I'll just catch the 1226. This is not a good idea. Ingrid's alive. I'm gonna save her. If you leave now, you'll burn to a crisp. You must wait until nightfall. There's no time. Vlad. I wasn't running away. I was you just... You don't have to lie to me. I'm on your side. Come on. In we go. <sighs> Problem? Slayers. You said we'd lost them. They found us. I don't know how, but they found us. I think we can lose them. Do you think we can lose them? No! Me neither. Who's Blondie? Must be one of them. If we're tracking them, why are we getting so close? I've explained this plan a thousand times. Probably better work. Don't say a word. You are very brave. Oh, thanks. Brave and stupid. And there it is. <sighs> you are giving up? There is one way you can get to her. How? It's small and black and rhymes with hat. <sighs> I am not turning into a bat. You have to. No way. It's easy. Never gonna happen. I promise I will never say the B word again. I saw the road. I can find her. We're not going to get very far in this. We've got any family around here could hide us. I burnt all my bridges a long time ago. I've got nowhere to go. This evening we have, for starters, partridge ravioli with a gillot and black truffle sauce, followed by Welsh beef 
wilted spinach and potato rosti with a homemade horseradish sauce. And for dessert... I'll eat out. Very good, sir. If it's convenient, Miss McCauley would like to see you in her office. Perhaps I'll eat in after all. What, sir, like... Keep heading on that last bearing and see if we can reacquire the signal. I told you this plan wouldn't work. It's sunset. Stay alert for hostiles. Thank you for coming, Mr. Count. I want to talk to you about Vlad. That's a delightful looking necklace you're wearing, Miss Macaulay. Oh, thank you. May I? Sorry? It's perfect. A line, the shape, the quintessence of all that is good in this world. I'm worried about Vlad. Mm. I think we may have a case of bullying. Well, you know how it is. Boys will be boys. What did he do? Take someone's lunch money. No. Vlad isn't the bully. Is he been protecting someone from the bully? No. Good. I think Vlad is the one being bullied. Perhaps they're teasing him for being the owner's son. You mean he's the... the victim? Vlad is... passive, so I know he'll just ignore we it. We could have this lot for breakfast. What is wrong with the boy? Can you talk to him? Oh, don't you worry. I'll get him to pour his heart out to me. I can do this. So stop talking and start flapping. Good evening. On the menu this evening, we have... Whatever you do, don't stop flapping! <sighs> Did you see that? Vlad turned into a bat. Hmm. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. You okay? It doesn't kill you, makes you stronger. I hope so. Or I'll be pushed out in this by myself. Where's Vladdy? <sighs> Sorry, sir. My, my mind's gone blank. You saw a vampire. Vampire, sir? Vampires don't exist. Give it a rest! He saw Vlad turn into a bat. Vlad turned into a bat? Vlad didn't really turn into a bat, and that's just a toy. My son turned into a bat! He flew right out that window. And they're just pre-programmed phrases. Renfield, the Welsh beef was delicious. No, guy, that's weird. Good hunting, Vlad! Bring back something for me! He's bringing back Ingrid. Yeah, the long gun. You've blown it. This is Fun Finder 7, calling SHQ over. This is SHQ. What is your status, Fun Finder 7? Target has gone dark, returning to base over and out. Target acquired. Burning of 2, 9, and 0. Let's move in. Fingers crossed. Who sold you this heap of junk? My brother. <laughs> Talk to 
talking of brothers, that's mine. You got old. You got sick. I can look after myself. Oh, yeah? So why'd you leave Stokely? I got bored. You got burned. So that's what this is. You're here to gloat. I'm here to take you home. <laughs> I think it's a bit late to be playing happy families, don't you? We can protect you from the Slayers. I can handle them. <laughs> and I'm not afraid to use them. On anyone. You'll lose. <laughs> Now you're just showing off. Come home, Ingrid. We've missed you. We? Deep down, he loves you. No, he doesn't. Never has, never will. Give him another chance. He'll prove you wrong. Bye, Vlad. Stay out of trouble. I guess that's what you're best at. Tracking beacons 500 metres up ahead. Let's hope a brother takes the bait. Slayers are coming. You're paranoid. Relax, we lost them. They put a tracking device on you. How did that get there? Where's, where's your brother? They're looking for me. They must have known I tried to find you. I'm the bait. Well, don't I feel special? You are special. You're my sister. Let me help. I got it. Open the door. Garside Grain School. I'll meet you there. You're not coming with us? I'm gonna throw him off the scent. Contact imminent. It's him. He's on the roof! Watch the perimeter. Seven, this is SHQ. Have you completed your mission? Over. We're gonna need a bigger van. What the bat dragged in. I told you not to bring her here. Nice to see you too, Dad. Leave her alone. She's sick. I'll put her out of her misery. You lay a fang on a fang. You can't tell me what to do anymore. You think you can defy me? I am your father. Don't ever forget that. Then what are you waiting for? Bite me. I'm sorry, OK? I had to save her. She's family. She's trouble. She's not deaf, you know. 
I didn't want to come here. So that makes two of us, which reminds me. How is my castle? I told you this was a bad idea. You're staying. At least until you get better. Right, Dad? Right. Just leave the two of them to catch up. I should be going. Stay for the day. Get some rest. Well, get your coffin. Good evening, sir. Are you okay, Renfield? I, uh... Sorry, sir, my mind's gone blank. Uh, not to worry. This is Erin. She needs a coffin to sleep in. Could you bring one up from the basement? Oh, very good, sir. You'll guess be comfortable sleeping in a coffin, sir. Uh, it's okay, Renfield. She's eccentric, like the rest of us. Oh, understood, sir. Would there be anything else, sir? I've got some maths homework during tomorrow. Could you do that for me? Certainly, sir. He doesn't know you're vampires. It's a long story. Pretty cool having someone to do all your homework for you. <laughs> yeah. I'd appreciate it if we could keep that between ourselves. Don't worry. I can keep a secret. <laughs> <laughs> 